Hi, this is Dr. Rudresh. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Medical Microbiology Guide. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. In this session, we are going to learn the coagulase test. Coagulase is an enzyme produced by Staphylococcus aureus. It is one of the important virulence factor. The coagulase enzyme brings about the clotting of human or rabbit plasma. It requires the coagulase reacting factor for its action. Guinea pig and few other animals, they lack coagulase reacting factor. Hence, we cannot use the plasma of these animals. The enzyme does not require calcium and other clotting factors as required for the regular clotting process. Eight types of coagulase has been identified. Most of the human strains form coagulase type. A. Let's see how the coagulase will act. Coagulase along with the coagulase reacting factor will act like a prothrombin. This complex will convert the fibrinogen into the fibrin. So this fibrin will be, will be seen as a clot. In vivo, Coagulase forms a fibrin barrier at the site of the infection and uh, this plays a role in localizing the lesions. In laboratory, the coagulase test is used to identify Staphylococcus aureus and differentiate it from the other species of Staphylococci. Coagulase occurs in two forms, it is bound coagulase and free coagulase. Bound coagulase can be detected by slight coagulase test and free coagulase can be detected by tube coagulase test. The requirement for the test are 18 to 24 hours growth culture, sterile saline. For slight coagulase test, we require old human plasma, clean slide, applicator sticks and for tube coagulase test, we require 1 in 6 diluted plasma and sterile test tubes. Now let's see the procedure and interpretation of the test. First, slide coagulase test. Take a clean glass slide, mark T for test and C for control. Draw two circles on the slide with wax pencil. Now I will place a drop of saline in both the circles. With the help of applicator stick, take the colony. Gently emulsify the colony in the liquid of each circle. Place a drop of undiluted pooled human plasma into the circle T. And place a drop of sterile saline into the circle C. Rock the slide back and forth and observe for agglutination of the test suspension. A positive reaction will be detected within 10 to 15 seconds and the test is considered negative if no agglutination is observed after 2 minutes. The saline control should remain smooth and milky. If the control suspension agglutinates, then the test is uninterpretable. Now we will see how to do tube coagulase test. At first, we will prepare the diluted plasma. Take a sterile universal container and label it as 1 in 6 diluted plasma. Now add 5 ml of the sterile normal saline to the container. To this 5 ml saline, we are going to add 1 ml of the pooled human plasma. If we add 1 ml of pooled plasma to 5 ml of saline, the final dilution of the plasma will be 1 in 6. This freshly prepared plasma can be kept in, uh, in refrigerator for 2 to 3 days. 
emulsify a small amount of colony in 0.5 ml saline or 0.5 ml plasma. If you are directly putting into plasma, you can incubate the tube at this stage. We are going to add 0.5 ml of diluted plasma to the 0.5 ml of inoculum which we made in sterile saline. Now the tube is ready for incubation. We will incubate the tube for 4 hours at 37 degrees Celsius and at 4 hours we are going to look for the presence of the clot. Tube should be gently tilted to note the degree of clotting. Tube should not be shaken because it may disrupt the partially formed clot. If the test is negative after 4 hours, it should be incubated at room temperature overnight and read after 18 hours. Now let's see few examples of coagulase positive organisms. Both slide and tube coagulase positive is Staphylococcus aureus. Only slide coagulase positive are Staphylococcus lugdunensis, Staphylococcus schlieferi, subspecies schlieferi. Only tube coagulase positive is Staphylococcus hycus, delphini, intermedius and Staphylococcus clayferi subspecies coagulans. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and press the bell button for more videos.